turned snitch. J. Kevin Kelly took the witness stand against Jimmy DeMora today. Kelly wore a wire for the FBI 20 times. Today, DeMora fights corruption charges, just as he's done for the years since the raid. It's a whole lot of people that got in trouble that made up lies. They were cut deals with the federal government for less jail time. And there are new revealing details from federal court today, including outrageous dinner bills and trips to New Orleans. Good evening. I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Lee Jordan. Thousands of dollars were also taken from a school fund to pay one of DeMora's bills. We've been at the corruption trial all day, and Bob Jones is live in Akron with more of today's revealing testimony. Bob? Well, Lee, J. Kevin Kelly was the first person to be charged in connection with the corruption probe, and he was the first public official to be convicted. For the government, he's considered one of the most important witnesses in the Jimmy DeMora trial. John Kevin Kelly began cooperating with the FBI shortly after the Cuyahoga County raids in 2008. He told the jury he wore a wire at least 20 times to make secret recordings for agents. Kelly has pleaded guilty to 11 corruption charges. He testified that as part of his plea deal, which included testifying against DeMora and others, the government will recommend a sentence of nearly six years in prison and impose fines totaling more than $700,000. When asked about the impact the case has had on his personal life, Kelly said, Most of my friends are no longer my friends, my actions, and my failures. I had to tell my wife about my activities regarding prostitutes. Kelly said he paid for prostitutes for DeMora because he felt it was expected that he pay. Kelly talked about going on trips to Windsor and New Orleans with DeMora and former county auditor Frank Russo, and that Kelly picked up the tab for the trip to the Big Easy. Kelly also testified he spent more than 20 grand buying dinners for DeMora and others. Asked if DeMora ever bought him dinner, Kelly said never. During another section of testimony, Kelly said DeMora was upset over a $9,000 catering bill he received for his son's graduation party. Kelly said he was told by DeMora to visit the caterer and try to lower the bill. Kelly did and said he got the bill down to six grand, but Mr. DeMora was still unhappy with that bill. He wanted it dropped substantially. Kelly, a former Parma school board member, testified he then took $3,000 from a Parma schools fund and put it towards DeMora's catering bill. Prosecutors are portraying Kelly as a middleman who coordinated bribes and organized sexual rendezvous for the former county commissioner so that Kelly could gain DeMora's influence on county contracts and hiring. And coming up at 6, we're going to tell you what J. Kevin Kelly had to say on the stand today when asked about Jimmy DeMora's power and how he was actually seeking funding from DeMora to get some uh, support for a halfway house in Cleveland. J. Kevin Kelly is expected to be on the stand for a couple more days. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.